What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're playing a game called Gloomhaven. Now I just briefly need to thank Asmodee Digital for sponsoring this video. Gloomhaven, if you didn't know, is a tactical RPG with both a solo and an online co-op mode developed by Flaming Foul Studios and published by Asmodee Digital. It's a faithful adaptation of Isaac Childress's board game, Apologies if I mispronounced that. And the game just went live on the 20th of October on Steam and GOG after over two years in early access. It's now finally released in all of its glory. And just a couple of little other notes. There's been over 12 major updates uh, since this first launched a couple of years ago. You can create your own team of uh, 17 playable different mercenaries. You can experience the Guildmasters campaign, which has over 160 missions or you can play the original board game campaign, uh, and you can play with up to four people in an online co-op. It's just me today. <laughs> so here we go, Gloomhaven. I've only played the tutorial so far, and from what I know of Gloomhaven, it can be pretty unforgiving. A good friend of mine has the, the board game version, uh, and we actually play board games together every week, but we haven't played Gloomhaven before, but he has warned me to, to be careful. <laughs> So, if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff, please do comment, like, and subscribe. But we're going to jump into the campaign today. I think we'll just do, uh, do you know what? Let's do easy. You don't have to worry, because I'll probably still mess this up. We'll have our guild known as the Ramblers. There we go. And who are we going to recruit first off? Glasses are on. Powered up. Welcome to the harsh lands of Gloomhaven, recruit. You think you have what it takes to become a mercenary out there on the edge of the world? Yes. We are paid to venture into the darkest forests of the region and to step into ancient crypts with the unmistakable stench of death and rotting flesh. Hmm. Lovely places to earn a name for yourself. Quite. Be ready to face cutthroats, undead, fearsome tribes, and dreadful demons from other realms. You don't find yourself as a mercenary without knowing how to crack a few skulls, did you? <laughs> Didn't think this was a horror game, but maybe it is. <laughs> also, uh, if you are interested in Gloomhaven, make sure to click on that link in the description. Every click also really helps out the channel, so I really appreciate it if you give it a click and uh, maybe give Gloomhaven a try for yourself. Okay, so... We'll need at least two mercenaries in my party who are brave or greedy enough. <laughs> sure. On your left, you have your party panel. Forever alone. <laughs> okay, no, but we can get a few characters. Let's get a new mercenary. So, our starting classes. There are various ones you can pick from. The Mind Thief, the Spell Weaver, the Scoundrel, Craigheart, the Tinkerer, or a Brute. Now, I'd be tempted to go for a Scoundrel, partly because he's... Green, and I like the colour green. And it's low difficulty. Actually, so are they. Medium, medium, high, high. We'll just do this. So we have high mobility, potential for high melee damage and good use of poison. We don't aid teammates. We have few defensive abilities and low melee health. And I will try and take all of the gold. <laughs> okay. Just call ourselves Alex. Okay, Alex has joined the party. Very nice. That's one merc, but I'll need a minimal, minimum of two. Okay. Should I give myself a spell weaver? Do you know what? Let's go wacky. Let's have a high difficulty character. Uh, we'll be a spell weaver. They're great at dealing out damage at range, but due to their low health, they're pretty fragile, so keep them out of combat. Oh, maybe I should have someone on the line that's pretty beefy. But I don't think... Screw it. No, nope. let's stick with it. We'll be a spell weaver. And we'll call her Karen. Okay, Karen has joined the party. Free for your lives! <laughs> Free! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is sponsored, Alec. This is sponsored. Okay. We should gear up. So I only have 30 gold. But what do I want to buy with 30 gold? Hmm. Do I want a healing potion? Yes. Yes, I do. Three healing potions for Alex. And what does Karen want? A cloak of invisibility. Something every Karen should have. All right. Then we've got the city encounter. Oh! 
Ah, the sleeping lion. Surely there is no place better to get a drink and relax after clearing out some dank dungeon. On this particular occasion, though, you are approached by a heavily scarred inox. She sits at your table and pushes forward a piece of paper. An interested party would like to hire you to steal a valuable figurine from a residence in the battlements, she says matter-of-factly. The details are on the paper. Meet me in the back alley in two days' time after the job is done. I can handle anything. We'll get ten gold each. Bam! Okay, now will be time to go through the Merc's abilities, cards, and inventory to make sure they're battle-ready. Okay, we'll have a minor healing potion and the Cloak of Invisibility. Alex, I think, can only have a small item. Yes. The rest of them are locked. I didn't realise that. But hey, so they're all good to go. All of our abilities look like they're there. Karen, all of her abilities are looking alright. We don't have any perks available. And let's travel off to our first quest. Off we go. Indeed. So when Jack Sarah, a Valrath woman wearing a red cloak and enough gold jewelry to keep you fed for a day. I like gold. Give me gold. Also, it may not have been a very wise decision to spend all my gold on health potions straight away, but I argue that I, I like to use abilities and spend my stuff as soon as I get it because you never know when your characters are going to die. So important. I don't care what you do to him. Just bring back what is mine. I'm sensing murder, my beer head. All right, off we go. Let me add him. Encounter. Oh, there was heavy rain last night and the roads are now dark streaks of mud. And as bad as it is for you walking, you see that others up ahead on the road are having worse trouble. You come upon a collection of wagons stuck in the mud. You look around and see an odd assortment of people dressed in garish clothing, all emblazoned with a marvelous and magical Techno Circus logo. We well, just stopped for a quick meal, and now the wheels have sunk into this mess. I'm sure our strongmen will get us out eventually, but we certainly will begrudge a little help. Let's... All right, we'll help him out. Uh, Let's help out the fortune teller's wagon. I've been cursed. Your path is dark and cursed. There is shadow around you. A gloom. You must leave this place. Be rid of it before it consumes you. Brilliant. As you descend... Ah, here we go. ...fully notice light emanating from below. Unfortunately, the light is accompanied by the unmistakable stench of death. Sacre bleu. Okay, so before entering a dungeon, each mercenary must choose were our two battle goals. A battle goal is a secret objective the mercenary tries to complete inside the dungeon. Okay, so let's just uh, try and only take short rests. Kill a monster during the scenario because you can fill at least four points of damage as necessary. Reveal a room tile by opening a door. Let's just uh, try and go overkill with Karen. And we're going to be dealing with a bandit archer, a bandit guard, and living bones. Bring it on. I've really been getting into more um, tactical RPGs recently. Oh, that's that's bad. Backing out of the room. You can vaguely make out his silhouette as he retreats down a hallway and through a door to his left. Oh. Well, it's not every day we get people stupid enough to hand-deliver their valuables to us, grins one of the larger bandits, unsheathing a rusty blade. We'll be killing you now. Just try it, you son of a gun. Yeah. Any valuables, you probably wouldn't be down here in the first place. Exactly. Spend it all on Doge. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so now that this is where the combat... Um, kind of kicks off so we have our two characters here we have alex and karen i'm trying to figure out i want decent initiative on the first turn so i'm probably going to go with uh some throwing knives and maybe a flanking strike oh, that would allow me to move okay so we get to pick two uh abilities to begin with so i think i'm going to use throwing knives because i have two of them and i'm going to try and do special mixture now with karen we have a mana bolt. Uh, I would like to do like a a rather... Ooh, an impaling eruption. Okay, we might actually try fire orbs and a mana bolt. Or um, frost armor, actually. Let's try... Yeah, I'm not sure how well this will work, but we're still going ahead of the bandits. Okay, great. So, uh, if I chose to poison, target one adjacent enemy. I've picked poorly. I have throwing knives though, and only the range to do that. Oh, let's 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 re <laughs> let's restart that. 
I chose poorly. Okay, still going to go with the throwing knives. And I'm going to try and bring one of them closer to me. No, I want to move forward one so I can... Hmm. Maybe not throwing knives just yet. Sorry, this takes a little while to kind of plan your attacks. It's, it's really quite tactical. And it's really kind of uh, fun to kind of think about what attacks you want to do. So we're going to do fire on the frost armor. Then I think I might use a smoke bomb. And I'm going to single one of the enemies out. So we're still going first. So I'm going to make myself invisible. And then I'm going to... On my next four attacks targeting enemies adjacent to none of their allies, we're going to get two attack. So I'm just kind of upgrading the scoundrel here. So we have fire orbs. We don't have the range for that, though. So instead I'm going to move... Oh, this is this is, this is is dodgy a little bit. This is, this is a little dodgy. I'm going to move forward one tile. And then we can do fire attack, I hope, to those... Which didn't deal the huge amount of damage, so I'm going to also go invisible. Where do they go? They don't know where I've gone. I'm going to do flanking strike and throwing knives. So I'm going to move and then throw my knives. And then Karen is going to get impaling eruption and flame strike. So I'm going to move over here. Let's, com let's move over here. Then we'll use our throwing knives. So I'll skip the rest of the movement because I don't need it. Then I'll use my throwing knives. Um, I'm going to kill that enemy entirely. And then attack the weakling there. Bam. Four damage. Only three damage there. But we are still invisible. We don't need to use our health potion yet. So we'll end the scoundrel's turn. The band... Oh no, we're not invisible anymore! Mm, I'm going to receive the damage. Oh no. So they're just buffing themselves up. So I do have an impaling eruption. Additionally target all enemies on the path to the primary target. So we'll, that'll be the primary target. He didn't take any damage. And we're out of range there. So I can only move forward or around there, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to backstab this time and use quick hands. Oh, what can Karen do? A mana bolt... And ride the wind. Okay, it looks like we're going to cause 7 damage to this dude now. Is that right? By backstabbing him. Oh, balls. He still has 1 health. Bam. So I want to loot that. Which we now will. So we get some gold. Okay, we'll open the door. There's a lot more enemies. So we'll skip the movement there. And skip the attack. We'll end our turn. I want to pick up the gold as I'm going along. Didn't know that there were multiple more enemies, uh, but that's fine. That's fine. We can work this out. We can work this out. Just move here, and then we'll recover all of our burned cards. Throwing knives and special mixture this time. Then, I think we'll have a fire orb and ride the wind. So you can see the turn order here. That's the various things that they've picked. I will target both of those with my throwing knives. No damage! Killed that dude, though. Okay. I'm going to move here. And then we're going to target... Skip the rest of the movement. And then poison this dude. You are now poisoned, sir! I'll enter the room. Then we'll use fire orbs. I should have moved forward one more tile. Uh, then I would have been able to target both of those in one turn. And that would have worked out a lot more smoothly for me. So I just took one health there of damage because it was going to... I was burning a card. So when you do a short rest, you have to burn one of your discarded cards uh, at random to recover all other cards. And I didn't want to give away my throwing knives, so I had to take a damage and then I got to pick one that I wanted to get rid of. And I'll have to do the same here. Claim Strike will burn that for now. Okay, so we're higher in the initiative than our enemies, which is great. I think we'll just take out this dude. And then all we have left is the uh, the squishy. Uh, oh, actually, I'll heal. I'll heal my compadre to full health. There you are. So that's the spell weaver done. Now we're onto the scoundrel. I will. I am not in range to throw my knife. I will move with our thief. Not thief. What am I talking about? My scoundrel. So I'll move forward and then I'll throw my knife. Took five damage. Took two damage. We'll receive that damage rather than burning a card. 
Impaling Eruption. That dude is now gone. So where is the next door? Okay, it's here. So I do actually need to disarm a trap if I can, which I don't believe I've done. And I'll just confirm my movement over here so I get some gold. We might not be able to get every gold as we go along. Whoa! I think that's because the Spellweaver ran out of... Oh dear. Yes, I've been burning through cards like they were... Uh... Oh jeez, I shouldn't have done that. I'm making an absolute hash of this and I do apologise. Um, this is my first time really playing. Kicking through the door, <laughs> you find yourself face to face with the reason these bandits chose this particular hole to... Oh dear. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I've got four enemies to face. I should probably restart this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Zero damage to the dead. Two damage. Oi, oi, oi. I did not think on the first dungeon I would be really struggling like this. This is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? And this is on the easy. This just goes to show how, like, Gloomhaven is not easy. Or I'm, I am... I am just, uh, yeah, there we go. So I ran out of abilities uh, because I had to keep burning them. Wow. I'm going to retry that. Oh. <gasps> a rustling in a nearby thicket stops you in its tracks. A tiny ball of fur with short stubby legs comes out at you. Uh, we're going to take the puppy and bring it back to Gloomhaven. So we gain a reputation, but we gain three negative one attack modifiers. Oh, for pity's sake. <laughs> uh, Karen can have the negative. Oh, damn it. Back we go. Time for another try, eh? Another try. Oh boy. Okay. I now have a mystic ally, and I'm going to gain invisible during my turn, and I'm also going to do a flame strike. No, I'm not, because no one's in range. Oh my gosh. I really need to pay more attention to the ranges. This is really shocking. We're off to a bad start. Such a bad start. I'm so terrible at this. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm just bad. Okay, I will do an attack here. We'll do the two damage. And then I can move far, far away. Au revoir. Fire orbs. Embrace the flame. Okay, so we have a backstab here. And we can deal seven damage to this dude. So I think that's what we'll do. Well, he's dead. Good. So that's that's great. Thank you. Oh, okay, we'll do an eruption, which should damage both of these dudes. There we go, so there's only one guy left now. Kind of jump over them. There we go, just moving around the battlefield, zipping and zooming and all of that lovely stuff. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Blanking strike to kill that dude. Oh boy, that was a that. I'm sorry, I messed that up so much. <laughs> and then we'll just loot. I think I'll have to heal our ally, and then I'm going to recover all of my burn cards, which in turn burns that card. But we get some other cards back. Let's open the door and smoke bomb. And I'm not even in range for my mana bolt. Uh oh well, I'm not in range to attack either. Well. I'll just skip my attack and end my turn. That was a that was that was bad. Okay, flanking strike. Oh, we didn't die. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Good. I'll receive that damage. Fine. I didn't take any damage then. Good. Oh boy, this is hard. This is a hard game. Perform a short rest. I want to keep freezing Nova. Oh, impending eruptions harsh to lose, but I'll take it. My problem is I, I've kept using all of the abilities. So like down here, you can see that burn. Well, you can't. Isn't my face is in the way? There's like a little burn icon in the bottom right. At least I'll kill that guy and damage him. So he's dead. That gains a plus one modifier. Brilliant. And then I can move. Uh, I'm probably going to move out of the way of the bow. And then with I can just attack him for two damage and kill him. I think. No! Damn it! Son of a gun! Okay, well, at least I can heal. Uh, that's going to burn the card, though. Unfortunately, I have no choice. And I've lost my scoundrel because of lack of cards. 
and that's going to happen again. I'm going to have to restart again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually believe this. This is actually, it's so much fun, but it's really tough. When my friend warned me, like, there's going to be a challenge, I thought, I figured, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but it won't be this difficult. But we'll go again. Each character starts, oh my gosh. I am not having very good luck with these encounters, am I? I can't believe this is the first mission. Third time's the charm, Alex. Third time's the charm, Alex. Third time's the charm. All right, this time, no messing about, okay? I'm activating skills. I mean, it, it utterly sucks that I start on two less health already. Uh, let's go over here. Then I'll use my throwing knives. How many can I target? Just the two. All right, I'll target the weaker. Ugh. Okay, move over here. Skip the remaining movement. And then try and kill him! Got a plus one modifier. And I'm going to be invisible. Bye. Oh dear. We're going last with her, but that's fine. Because I can do blanking strike on this dude and just kill him. Six damage. Three damage. I will use his healing potion. I'll end my turn. I'll take the four damage. There's nothing I can really do. And I am going to uh, heal. And then heal. So what you're seeing is that I'm not... I'm not burning any cards. I'm trying to specifically avoid the abilities that want me to burn. Uh, so they're only discarded. So then when I do a long rest, I only have to burn one card to recover every other card. It's just it's just thinking about it a bit more. Being slower with my attacks. It's really fun to plan your different attacks out. Okay, he's going to go first and he's going to retaliate, which is irritating. So he gains a shield. Hmm. So if I wanted to... Use my frost armor. Attack. Only dealt one damage. Don't need to do that. Then I can move. Get my gold. Okay, we gain the gold there. And then I'm going to backstab that git. I am going to burn that card though, which is unfortunate. And uh, I'm going to receive that two damage. Unfortunately, and that's backstab uh, burned now. So I'd have to burn one of those cards. Now, if I try and... Do a Venom Shiv and Sinister Opportunity. And we'll do a short rest, maybe. And I'll burn my Frost Armor, unfortunately, to gain back these. We'll kill him with the Flame Strike. Good. The Spell Weaver's turn is done. Man, I am concentrating so much. I'm not sure if I want to go right up to them or not. I think it's worth the risk of... I just need to start dealing damage, you know? Nice! Okay. He took out one guy straight away. So the archer's going to come forward. The bandit's going to throw stuff at me. But Okay, so they're going. They're both going before me. So this, this could be bad. I'll receive the damage. Oh, gosh. I'll receive the damage. Wasn't able to do either of the things I wanted to do this turn. Very frustrating. I'm going first. Great. Uh, throwing knives, I believe. All right. Then I will target both. Oh! Well, at least we took out one. And then I will immobilize. Did it work? Yes. I'll do a long rest. Because I think... This is the perfect time to do it. Because the scoundrel is going to move adjacent over here. Then we're going to single out. And deal quite a substantial amount of damage. Times two, ten damage. Yes. Oh, I didn't need to... I, I, okay, that was a mistake there. I thought the potion was for my dude, for my scoundrel, but it wasn't. We'll do a long rest for that dude. In the meantime... Oh, man. I can't keep burning cards with the scoundrel. This is hurting so much. I need to keep the trap. I need to keep that, because I need to get past these traps. So, let us do the venom... Uh, I'll get rid of the venom shiv. It hurts to burn cards. I, it's taken me an hour or so to learn that, but oh my god. That's that done. Because you're, you're in a race against time, too. Let's open the door, then I'll immediately do an impaling eruption. <laughs> I'm only going to deal damage to one character, unfortunately. 
But, better than no damage. And this is the best we've done so far, except the spell weaver's now gonna get. Oh. What? Why are you dropping. No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. Oh, no. Okay, I'll, I'll take the damage. Okay, yep, yeah, I'll take the damage. Okay, I'll take out one of the skeletons, I hope. Oh, thank gosh. And then we can move. Uh, I'm going to move onto the gold here. So I present a more enticing target. Oh. I'll receive the two damage. Oh, thank gosh. They're targeting that. They're targeting the scoundrel. Oh, that, was bad. that hurts. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, so I'm not going to take any damage for the next couple of turns, I believe. Uh, and I will do Impaling Eruption. I should have gone for that bandit archer instead! That's fine. We might actually be able to do this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Perform long rest. Uh, what do I want to get? Uh, do I want to get rid of the flanking strike? I think I'll just disarm the trap here, maybe. Yes. Okay, so let's use the... Ooh, what do I want to use here? We've got a frost armor and flame strike. And I could, also, I could also do a long rest or a short rest. I'll do a long... I'll do a short one. Uh, and that's all I can burn. Yep. So this is pretty much my final turn to do stuff. So I hopefully I can go first. To, I, I get to go first with both characters. Great. Great. Okay, flanking strike. You're dead. Then I'll move over to this dude. I'll have to just risk it with one attack. We may have a chance for to kill, take it out this turn. Yes! 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 Oh my gosh, that's taken me an hour and a half. To do the first level. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Oh my gosh. We did it. <laughs> oh! You take a moment to oh! Your breath. Oh! And your target is not among the dead. And you shudder to think what horrors still await you in the catacombs below. Catacombs below? Are you having a giraffe? Man, this is a tough game. It's all about lining up like the perfect combos and... But we finished, a, we finished a quest and we got 4 XP. Oh, joy of joys. Oh no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there to the Pharaoh Lair. Let's return to Gloomhaven. See what we can get down here. Oh no, not another encounter, please. Oh no, oh thank gosh. We just get back to Gloomhaven. A curious invitation has slipped under your door in the early morning. It is for a wedding ceremony between the children of two wealthy Gloomhaven merchants. Oh, and our exploits have placed them in, uh, in, in their good graces. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take an expensive gift. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're poor. We have nothing. <laughs> oh, I have no ability to get any equipment. We're still level one. Our reputation is one. Man. So this has, like, you're going to be able to do tons and tons of quests across the world map. This is literally just a taste of what Gloomhaven has to offer. Uh, I, I actually am... Oh, my gosh. Look at all of this. So I've barely touched the surface of Gloomhaven. If this, if this seems like something you would enjoy, I would highly recommend picking it up. Uh, it seems polished, it works, you know. <laughs> that's always great for a video game. Uh, but if you're, if you're looking for a challenging tactical RPG experience, then uh, click on the link in the description. So thank you to Asmodee Digital once again for sponsoring this video. I've had a lot of fun with Gloomhaven from that taste of it that I've just had. Apologies, I'm not the best at tactical RPGs. I really enjoy them, but I'm not great at them. Uh, but hopefully I've shown off what Gloomhaven might have to offer if it's of interest to you. This was just a snippet. There's probably hundreds of hours of gameplay uh, available to you. But yeah, I've had fun. Might even stream this at some point. But for now, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to Turquoise Zom, Onion Duck, Stuka J, Sean Zoltek, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Trochu, D Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Ryan Nelson, Valhalla Halls, Vash, and Warren P. George for being ridiculous rounder supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!